Studying abroad is sort of like telling a story that only you think is funny, meaning that it usually ends with, well, I guess you just had to be there. It's incredibly difficult to be able to articulate your thoughts and feelings regarding situations that take your breath away, especially when you need to do so in a way that allows your audience to live vicariously through you. I found that this was one of my biggest challenges, but also one of my biggest areas of growth while abroad. I spent the spring of my junior year studying in Turku, Finland, which was immediately followed by a summer internship in Dublin, Ireland. During these programs, I was hired on by ICEP and ISA respectively as a student blogger to share my cultural experiences. This role forced me to think critically about utilizing my storytelling abilities. I needed to be able to appropriately engage an audience in a meaningful way, but I really struggled to find my voice in this space. So I turned to other sources, like the New York Times, to see how other writers were appealing to international audiences while remaining true to their own writing style. I returned to these same resources when preparing for my audition with TEDx Turku, where I presented a speech about metaphors, identity categories, and epigenetics. It was a challenge to take this complicated topic and create spoken content from it that was both relatable and able to be understood. Despite my audition not going as planned, my communication skills improved in ways I never imagined they could. By the end of my programs, I was able to talk about the awe-inducing dance that the Northern Lights perform in the Finnish skies, the homesick lump in my throat that I carried with me after leaving Finland, and the practical knowledge of counseling I gained as a group co-facilitator at Cool Mind Therapeutic Community in Dublin. Studying abroad tested my ability to grow and adapt in novel situations, but also gave me the opportunity to grow as a writer, a storyteller, a student, a professional, and most importantly, as an individual. All it took was a leap of faith.